the ext out letter J, in the ancient E Hebrews language, friends to listen to this message in its entirety would you please check out the link below. Thank you. Friends, the E Hebrews E Yud is the divine designated letter that spells out the sacred holy name of the Most High, and which is also the letter Yod, or the diphthong, IY which is also the name, and also the number, and also the sacred name of the Holy One, and also the sacred name of the Most High and whose name is named the Holy One and also whose name is called the Sovereign One, and also the Sovereign King of all the heavens and the earth, and whose holy sacred name is known as One. And friends, the E Hebrews E Yud is spelled with the letters I and Y, which pronounces the number One, or the name of the Sovereign One, whose name is named One, and also the Almighty One or the Almighty E, and also the name E, and also the name E Elu, and E Elohim. Friends the Jewish alphabet is said to have a Jod or Jad or a Yud or Yud. And which is also similar to the ancient E Hebrews pictogram Yod character or letter Y which is called the Yud or the Yod. But unlike the E Hebrews E Yud. The Yiddish alphabet Jod, was invented and which is spelled I and J, or J, and I. And which is said to produce a J sound. Or the S sound, or the E, sound but which is spelled J, and I. But it isn't like the E Hebrews E U that pronounces the sound of E, and which is spelled I and Y, and which stands for the sacred holy name of the Almighty E. And it isn't like the J sound or the Jod, and it isn't what some Jewish scholars would have us to believe. But my friends, the E Hebrews pictogram characters are the ancient designation of the Almighty One Holy Language, and the E U is similar to the E English letter Y, with a curved tail. And this pictograph is like the ancient E Hebrews pictogram which is the E English letter Y, which is pronounced like the number 1 in Chinese and as the sound E. In E English and the Y, sound in Spanish. But friends, the modern Jewish alphabet and its Hebrew language is said to be different and that it doesn't accept the E Yud and also it doesn't pronounce the E Yud as E. And also the Yod as the letters I and Y. But as the letter J and I and which goes against the commandments of E Eluhum is the sovereign one of E Abraham. But yet the Jewish people have adopted this Yiddish character in the place of the E Yud. When they embrace the Jod, or the letter J and I. As the Jod. But original the letter J was the X'd out letter from the ancient E Hebrews script. And which was X'd out according to the commandments of E Eluhum is the Od. And also whom is the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth. And this was because of the fallout between God Godreel who is also known as Shaitan, and also the serpent. And who sinned against E Elu, whom is also called E Elohim. And this was when the serpent whose name is called Gad God God Godreel and Gadriel sinned against E Elohim in the beginning of E's creation of the world. And who became an outcast and a fugitive in E's world, and when God as Satan, and who misled E Eve and was punished for his sin of disobedience against E Elu, whom is the sovereign one of heaven. And also because Gog God Godreel was found culpable for corrupting E's creation, and also mankind in the beginning of the creation of E's world. And as a result the name of God Godreel became a byword. And also God or the name for God, the Lord God became the cursed one. And also God's son was cursed and also his heritage that they would also be cursed. And also that God and his descendants were to be punished. And over time God names became synonymous with the Y-S curse or the Hebrew Yimok Shemo curse. And so later on when the letter J, or the J was embraced by the Jewish communities as the letter Jod, in the Yiddish language, and as the letters J and I. And then that was when the E-Hebrews language was changed forever and the holy divine designation for the Sovereign One, whose name is E, was convoluted. For the name of God and the name Hashem, and also by the name for God, the name Adonai. And also lately for the name Yehovah. Which is derived from the Tetragrammaton YHVH. Or the Jewish Tetragram JHVH. Friend the E-Hebrews language and also the holy script of the E-Hebrews pictograms and pictographs which were designed by Elohim e, to be the divine designation of the holy sacred names of the Most High. 
and also the J was non-existent, in the E-Hebrews language but it was reflected as the O with the X, in the middle, and as the X'd out letter O. Which stuk for the forbidden letter J, friend, and this is why all the pictograms, and also all the pictograms characters of the ancient E-Hebrew script uses this X'd out letter to show the omission of the letter J according to the of Elu, and also to honor E's commandments and show that letter J was the forbidden, and that the name Jesus couldn't be the name of the Christ, and that God and Jesus are the evil ones in the E-Hebrews cursed, and whom are known as Gad God God Godreel or Gadriel, and whom was the old serpent from the garden of Eden, and who was the cursed serpent, and also Satan whom the Y-S cursed was pronounced upon, but which was covered up by many in Christendom, and also by the Yiddish scribes, and also by the Jesuits when the Jesuits and also the word elders and also the Bible scholars, and also the Jewish rabbis and the scribes made a place for the Jod, by going against the commandments of E. Elohim is the sovereign one of E. Abraham, whom had commanded that the J was to be X'd out, and forbidden. And when the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth pronounced the Y.S. cursed upon Satan the serpent for deceiving the first woman, and also when Satan whom is also known as Shaitan and also Godreel and God for short deceived the world by changing the E-Hebrews characters and also the holy sacred name of the Most High by corrupting the E-Hebrews pictogram and its characters which were all divinely inspired by E. Which is the holy sacred designation for the holy sacred name of the Most High. And whose name is embedded into the E-Hebrews E-Yud. And which is spelled E. Or I and Y and which is the sacred holy name of the Sovereign One, and whose name is called E. And also E. Elu. And also E. Haya, and also E. Hawa. And also E. Eluya. And also the Almighty E. And also Holy E. And friends some time after that the Italian grammarian named Gian Giorgio Trisino, became to be known as the father of the letter J. Because he was able to make the distinction between the letter J and the G, sound. And after that the letter J and its sounds were embraced around the world. And this was also introduced into the English language and also the Yiddish language and also into many other languages. And also into many alphabet and abugids and many syllabaries. But friends the letter J was non-existent in the one and only original language, that was spoken by everyone in E's world in the beginning of the creation of E's world. Up until the time when E Elohim, created other languages. Around the time of Nimrod's tower in the land of Babylon. My friends, the letter J was known as the X'd out letter. And also the X'd out character of the ancient E Hebrews language and also which is the O with the X in the middle of the pictogram characters of the E Hebrews alphabet, and its script and also the letter which represented the letter J in the ancient E Hebrews pictogram. And also its pictograph and which was marked with the X'd out sign of the pictogram instead of with the letter J, or the Jod. Which is the invention of the Italian or the Romans whom replace it with the letter J. And which was embraced by the Yiddish people or the Jewish people. Whom created a place for the Jod or the letter J in the Hebrew alphabet. And which furthermore convoluted the E-Hebrews characters, and also the E-Hebrews language. When the Yiddish language was created and which was accepted as being the ancient E Hebrews people characterization of the Y-S cursed, and also the X'd out letter of the forbidden letter J. But when the Jews modernized the E Hebrews characters for newer ones, they abandoned the Yud original characters for a newer ones, and they changed the designation to the J and I, and they named it a J or a Jod. But the ancient E Hebrews pictogram and pictograph was the I and Y, and which was pronounced E and also which was the original characters of the sacred holy name of the Ad of E. Abraham, and also the Almighty E. And which showed the divine designation of the name of the Most High. And also the sacred holy name of the Most High, whose name is also called E. Eluya, and also E. Elu. And also the number one. And also whose names was the originally ancient E. Yud. And which is the E. English letter Y. And which is the same Y today which is pronounced E. And which is also the E. Sound in E English language. And also the E. Letter in the Samaritan script. 
and which is holy sacred name of the Most High. But the Jewish Jod is the letter which is corrupting E Hebrews characters and also the name of the Almighty E. The letters J and also the letters G, and these two letters are giving off the J sounds. Which someone can create if they were to use the consonant G, instead of the letter J. But which would be much richer when the E sound is being used as a vowel instead of the consonant letter G and J. But the frequency of the use of the letter J is further lowered by the fact that there are other ways of creating the same sound, that is with a G as in geography or cage, and as in DG as in edge or fudge, or even as in D by itself, and as in the word gradual. Friend, to see the ancient E Hebrews pictogram characters, which represents the letter J, would you please check out the link below. Thank you. The links would be at the end of this message. The end.